Hello everyone, I am Nanishwati Chitravar. Welcome to my channel Anytime Maths. In this video, we will learn what is inscribed angle and inscribed angle theorem. Here, I have drawn a circle. Let's see what is inscribed angle here. If we draw an angle like this, for this angle, vertex is this and which lies on the circle. And two end points also lies on this circle. Means there are three common points for the angle and for the circle. Then this is called inscribed angle. Okay. Here I have taken few examples. Out of this, let's find out which of these are inscribed angles and which of these are not. Okay. In this example. Vertex of the angle is outside the circle and there are four common points. This, 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 this. So, this is not inscribed angle. Okay. Here, in this example, there is only two common points are there. That's why this is not inscribed angle. There should be three common points. Okay. Again, vertex is outside. Fine. In this example, there are two common points for the angle and for the circle. So, this is not inscribed angle. Here, in this example, there are three common points for the angle and for the circle. So, this is inscribed angle. Clear? Here, this angle is 90 degree. So, what? There are three common points. That's why this is inscribed angle. Clear? Now, let's recall one small topic. In this circle, let's take two points. Point A, point B. Because of these two points, circle is divided into two parts this arc and this arc okay so as this is small we can call this as a minor arc as this is big so we can call this as the major arc now let's see what is the major of this small arc and for this big arc okay so major of the arc is nothing but the angle major of the angle subtended by this arc at the center so for this small arc major of this is equal to this angle so if this angle is theta, so major of this arc, say so this point is C, arc A, C, B is theta. Now, same diagram I am drawing here, considering these two points, point A and B. Now, let's find out the, this is the center, let's find out the major of this big arc. Now, angle subtended by this big arc is this, this angle. So, let's say this angle is alpha. So, major of this big arc is alpha degree. Okay. Now, let's see what is inscribed angle theorem. Here, angle ABC is inscribed angle. Okay. So, this theorem says this angle, say it is theta, is half of this angle, angle AOC to theta. Okay. See, Angle ABC is half of the angle AOC. This is the inscribed angle theorem. Now, for this inscribed angle ABC, this is intercepted arc. Okay. So, we can say major of the inscribed angle is half of the major of the intercepted arc. Okay. So, let's prove this theorem. Angle ABC is half of the angle AOC. For that, let's do one small construction. Here, we have joined this BO, this vertex and the center. Now, let's prove that this is half of this. Now, consider this triangle, triangle BOC. In this triangle, BO is radius, OC is radius and they are equal. So, this is isoscalar triangle. So, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. If this angle is X, then this angle is X. Right? Now, this angle is the exterior angle of triangle BOC. So, this angle is equal to the sum of remaining two angles. Fine. Similarly, in this triangle, triangle AOB, OB is radius, OA is radius. So, this is isoscalar triangle. Again, this angle is equal to this angle because angles e opposite to equal sides are equal. Right? If we take this angle as Y, then this angle is also Y. This angle is the exterior angle of this triangle AOB. So, this angle is 2Y, sum of these two angles, right? If we say this angle is theta, so let's say theta is equals to X plus Y. So, what is this angle? Angle AOC. AOC angle is 2X plus 2Y, right? Which is twice of X plus Y. 
विच इज ट्वाइस ऑफ एंगल ए बी सी राइट सो वी हैव प्रूव दिस राइट ए बी सी इज हाफ ऑफ एंगल ए सी अंडरस्टूड द प्रूफ नाउ हियर इंस्क्राइब एंगल कैन बी लाइक दिस हियर देर आर थ्री केसेस इन फर्स्ट केस सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल लाइज इन साइड द इंस्क्राइब एंगल इन सेकेंड केस सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल लाइज ऑन द इंस्क्राइब एंगल in third case center of the circle lies outside the inscribed angle okay in all these three cases this theorem holds true let's prove that see just now we have proved this when center of the circle is inside the inscribed angle then this angle is half of this angle 2 theta okay just now we have proved this now let's prove this what happens when center of the circle lies on the inscribed angle let's quickly join this segment segment ao okay in this triangle see here we have to prove that this if this is theta then we have to prove that this is 2 theta okay let's prove this here in this triangle bo is radius oa is radius so this is isosceles triangle so if this is if this angle is theta so this angle is also theta this is the exterior angle of this triangle so this angle is sum of this that is 2 theta so this theorem holds true in this case also okay now let's prove this theorem here for that let's join three things this bo and ao oc see we have to prove that this inscribed angle say if it is theta we have to prove that angle aoc is 2 theta okay let's prove this now here consider two arcs say this point is e arc ac and arc ce okay now in this arc ce this is inscribed angle right so in this inscribed angle for this arc say if this is x then this center value eoc is 2x right now consider this complete arc A C E big R. For this R, this is inscribed angle angle A B E, where center lies on inscribed angle. Just now we have seen when center lies on this inscribed arc, this theorem holds true. So if this angle is theta plus x, so what is this angle? Angle A O E is two theta plus two x, right? See. this complete angle is 2 theta plus 2x and this angle is 2x so we can say only this angle is 2 theta right complete minus 2x so we have proved this for this inscribed angle theta angle abc this value is aoc angle is 2 theta okay so inscribed angle theorem holds true in each and every case when center is inside when center is on the inscribed angle when center is outside the inscribed angle okay now let's see two corollaries based on inscribed angle theorem now let's see first one here angle apb is the inscribed angle for this intercepted arc ab okay so first corollary is that this angle is equal to any other angle inscribed in this arc so this angle if it is theta so this angle is also theta they are congruent so we can say angles inscribed in the same arc are congruent okay any angle it will be theta if this is 50 degree then this is also 50 then this is also 50 this is also 50 okay so any angle inscribed in the same arc are congruent this is first corollary easy now let's see the second one here ab is the diameter o is the center so this diameter divided the center in two semi circles now second corollary is that angle in semi circle is a right angle if this is the angle say this is angle apb it is 90 degree this is the second corollary let's prove this see angle apb is inscribed angle so this angle is half of this angle right angle aob is 180 so this inscribed angle is half of this angle so half of 180 is 90 degree right so any angle in the semi circle is right angle if you draw like this this is 90 degree 
if you draw like this this is also a 90 degree angle understood understood the two corollaries here i have taken two problems pause this video and take screenshot try to solve these problems on your own then match your answers with mine now let's solve this problem here what is given chord lm is congruent to chord ln these two are congruent angle l is given 35 degree then we have to find these two things let's find this major of arc mn this see angle l is given and we have to find major of this arc just now we have seen this angle is half of the major of this arc so we can say major of arc mn is 2 into 35 so it which is 70 degree fine now let's solve this major of arc ln so we have to find this arc now for that we need this angle as this is isoscalar triangle we can say up angles opposite to equal sides are equal so we can say angle m is equal to angle l right so in this triangle one angle is 35 and two angles are congruent so we can find these two angles sum of these is 180 degree if it is x this is x so 35 plus x plus x is 180 so 35 plus 2x is 180 degree 2x is 180 minus 35 145 right so what is the value of x 72.5 now this angle is 72.5 degree then what is the major of this ln double of this double of this is 145 so major of this arc is 145 degree clear easy now let's solve this problem here what is given triangle abc is a right angle triangle inscribed in a circle okay there is one right angle triangle which is inscribed in a circle ac is the hypotenuse ab is 5 bc is 12 then we have to find the radius of the circle okay with this information let's draw one right angle triangle inscribed in a circle means there is one circle and there is one right angle triangle in this means that triangle is in the semicircle right like this okay this is right angle triangle now what is given ac is the hypotenuse so we can say this is ac which is also a diameter of a circle ab so left over vertex is b ab is 5 bc is 12 then we have to find the radius of the circle okay now as this is right angle triangle by pythagoras theorem we can find the hypotenuse ac square is equals to 5 square plus 12 square 25 plus 144 it is 169 so ac value is 13 hypotenuse is 13 centimeter we have to find the radius diameter is 13 so radius is half of this so half of this means 6.5 centimeter so radius is 6.5 centimeter easy thank you everyone hope you like this video and understood the concept